hello everyone. This is not our typical Minecraft video. I don't usually play like this. Actually, I don't ever play like this uh, in RL Craft. It just happened uh, because of some circumstances that will be shown in part of a video that will be coming out either today or tomorrow. Um, I think this video will be coming out bef before the video that kind of leads up to this moment. So. I don't, like I said, I don't usually play like this. The reason I'm playing like this is because after a certain clip, the next video, I ended up dying. And I ended up dying out in the middle of nowhere. Um, to be precise, so to be precise, I have gone through this entire map that you see here of just ex of me exploring in this mode and flying mode trying to figure out where I died because I cannot, for the life of me, find the stuff that I lost. And the reason I'm doing it this way is not because I so much wanted to give myself all the stuff back and just kind of cheat through the game and, you know, have no effort put into things. You know, I, I, whenever I lose, I pretty much accept defeat and call it a day. You know, it, it's not too hard to build back from nothing but in this case I was kind of really frustrated because as you see in the last video or in the next video I actually had some decent loot or some decent gear and I died with all of it so I I kind of just wanted to get it back um, and I that there was no way for me to know where or how to find that stuff so what ended up happening was I I got really frustrated and I thought about just quitting <laughs> for no reason. I was just kind of rage quitting. And as I was going through all this, I, I kind of realized how crazy some of these buildings are and how much I really, really wanted to explore these. So what ended up happening was I, I tried really hard to get back to wherever the hell it was that I died, um, trying to find my loot again. But instead, I ended up coming across buildings that I have never in my life seen before in RL Craft, which I thought was really hard because I thought I was exploring a huge part of the world before. And I was so, so, so wrong. I mean, just it takes me about two minutes of just solid straight flying to get from my base here to point here. And they were just buildings I have never seen before and buildings I haven't explored in this mode because even though I'm finding them and putting them on the map because I want to get back to these later I don't feel like going through and cheating and just you know taking the loot for myself I, I, it's super interesting to finally find new buildings new content just stuff laying around in places where I never thought it possible and so I was finding it more of a as a as a breath of fresh air because I was I was getting a little worried when it comes to making uh RL craft videos because it almost felt like every dungeon I had explored was about the same and so whenever I was coming across these new buildings I I was starting to really enjoy this game just a little bit more because I was getting excited about finding all these new places and it made me excited to go find these things out out in the world and be able to beat them. So that's why I didn't want to beat them while I was in this mode because it wasn't actually beating them if I was an almighty god. But it was good to be able to find these things. Um, in this mode because I otherwise I don't think I would have ever come across them because they are so far spread in this world that I didn't think it'd be possible for me to ever get to them um, but I'm glad I did you know I'm sure there's other buildings even now out there in the world that I have yet to explore and that makes me kind of excited for what's left in our craft you know because I I honestly had no idea that all these things existed and it makes me kind of glad it makes me way less upset about the fact that I had died out in the middle of nowhere 
I mean, obviously, I still took a big loss because I have no idea where all my stuff is and I don't think I'll ever recover it again because, like I said, I've, I've gone through this entire map and I know that looks small, but when that that's as zoomed out as it possibly can whenever you zoom in. <laughs> this, it's, it's huge. This, this, the amount of area covered and the amount of area ex uh, unexplored is, like, ridiculous. So... You know, as far as my gear goes, I'm pretty sure I'm ready to call it a quits, or at least, you know, call it a defeat uh, for something I'll never get back, but it's it's okay, you know. It's not like I can't start over anyways. Um, I, I, I have materials, I've done enough dungeons to go and rebuild from whatever I have left, and there's still plenty of to do, and this, this kind of made me glad. That, that that that's still a possibility because it, it's always refreshing finding new content in a game where you thought you had you know discovered everything so yeah there's still some stuff that i haven't shown in this video and some stuff that i think i'll save as a surprise because there's still a lot of buildings that i have yet to show but if i could leave off with giving you guys any advice is if you have in our old craft world or just you know any world you have yet to explore fully i don't think it's a bad idea to grab an atlas and just start mapping things who knows you might find something you really really love out there and you might want to go exploring because you know you don't you don't really want to settle down too quickly sometimes you want to keep exploring like i for me i'm i'm right here where it says home and it kind of falls in the middle of nowhere from what I, well, relatively in the middle of nowhere in comparison to where all these other cool things are. And so if, if it had been up to me, I would have built my home closer to a waypoint or a, sorry, teleportation point just for the ease of access of getting around better and maybe find better scenery and stuff. But, you know, I, I chose being next to a tower because it was convenient at the time. And it helped me level up really fast. And, you know, aside from that, it, it was a good waypoint, I guess, if you will. Because, you know, giant towers are pretty easy to find when you're out and about exploring. So, yeah, this, it, for me at the time, it was just convenient. And I, I built from that. And I kind of enjoy my, enjoy my little space that I've built so far. So I don't think I'll be moving anytime soon, at least foreseeable future, because building a whole new base is always a little tedious. But I am super excited to go and explore all these new places and then just make content on it because so that that's where I've been. I've I've been exploring a lot. Um, I think I spent all of like three hours the other day trying to explore this entire map and I that was insane. Wow. I spent quite a bit of time trying to explore the place and I'm going to keep exploring. I, I haven't given myself any items. I haven't like given myself a freebie and just, you know, popped a whole inventory of new set. The only thing I gave myself was this Atlas book. I'm definitely going to keep it to I can keep exploring, but that is going to be me, guys. Uh, after this, one, once I'm done, like, doing this, I'm just gonna go back to, obviously, playing in survival mode. Um, like I said, I only did this so that I could fly around and potentially find new places to, ex to make content on, explore. And if you guys are kind of bored with the stuff that you have found so far, I definitely suggest doing this. I, I think it's a great, uh, fresh, uh, breath of fresh air. So, yeah. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.